I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about inositol, or vitamin B8, as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Vitamin B6, or inositol, is a sugar, alcohol, and isomer of glucose and found in nearly all animals and plants. Inositol is a group of nine molecules called stereoisomers. Now in this video, we're talking primarily about myo-inositol, which accounts for up to 95% of the inositol in your body. Vitamin B8, or inositol, is no longer considered a true vitamin because our body makes inositol. And we can get it from most types of food. Myo-inositol is involved in cell signaling. In the simplest terms, Myo-inositol hears from the first neuron that it's about to fire over a neurotransmitter and passes that information on to the receiving, receiving neuron. Not enough inositol and the neurotransmitter can't do its job. Inositol is one busy molecule in your body. Myo-inositol affects mRNA, which regulates cell volume. Phosphatidyl inositol, signaling pathways, controls signals inside and outside of brain cells. Inositol plays a role in DNA repair. Inositol affects long-term potentiation. Myoinositol is a component of cell membranes. Myoinositol regulates cell metabolism. And myoinositol regulates cell energy consumption. Well, first, inositol influences neuroplasticity and neurotransmitters. Transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS, has been used to treat depression, Parkinson's disease, stroke, and pain. But the maximum effect of TDCS in the brain was not until several minutes after treatment, which indicates that the effects of TDCS is not by direct neurotransmitter action like you would expect, for example, if you were using a nootropic. So the researchers concluded that the effect of TDCS was best explained by the activation of a secondary messenger system and modulation of brain cell membrane proteins. Neurotransmitters, neuromodulators, and hormones have been shown to exert their action via an intracellular inside the cell secondary messenger system in which the activated neuroreceptor stimulates the turnover in acetyl phospholipids. Clinical studies have found that low levels of inositol are present in patients with anorexia, brain disorders, and depression. And abnormal levels of myo-inositol in middle-aged adults can signal the initial stages of cognitive decline such as Alzheimer's and dementia. In the second way, inositol helps reduce anxiety and depression. Long-term potentiation needed for encoding long-term memories rely on neural signal transmission and synaptic plasticity, and both are strongly influenced by the myo-inositol and phospho-inositide pathway. The meta-analysis and systematic review of clinical studies were evaluated comparing inositol for depression and anxiety disorders. The researchers concluded that inositol was beneficial for treating depression and anxiety. Myoinositol enhances serotonin receptor sensitivity, and several studies have proposed SSRI-like roles for myoinositol. Researchers believe Inositol works as an SSRI because it is a secondary messenger of serotonin. In other words, inositol gets a message from the first neuron that says it wants to send over a serotonin molecule. Inositol picks up that message and lets the receiving neuroreceptor know that there's an incoming serotonin molecule. Serotonin signaling is fixed and depression goes away. In some regions of your brain, serotonin acts more like a neuromodulator rather than a classic neurotransmitter and can affect glutamate and GABA as well. As a secondary messenger, inositol is an integral part of neuroplasticity and neurotransmitter signaling, affecting anxiety, alertness, concentration, co uh, cognition, depression, and all forms of memory. A large percentage of patients do not respond to SSRIs when they're used to treat depression or anxiety. And the problem could be depression that's not related to serotonin or a GABA deficiency. They could have a dopamine problem instead. But 
if it is serotonin-related depression and there is no response to SSRIs, inositol may help. Myoinositol helps relay the messages sent and received by serotonin receptors. Another problem with SSRIs, like lithium, is serotonin syndrome. Too much serotonin can be released in the brain, which can be toxic and deadly. Or the SSRI can deplete stores of inositol, which raises serotonin levels too high. Once again, inositol comes to the rescue. Researchers found that myoinositol plus lithium alleviated serotonin syndrome. Myoinositol regulates blood sodium levels, which helps in the maintenance of healthy myelin sheaths that protect axons. Myoinositol protects your brain from a leaky blood-brain barrier that, if left unchecked, could allow toxins produced in your liver to enter your brain. Inositol can relieve anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. Myoinositol can reduce panic attacks, and inositol can reduce mood swings. Studies show that inositol is as effective as SSRIs in treating the symptoms of bulimia and binge eating. Inositol can protect against lung cancer caused by smoking. Myoinositol increases sperm concentration, total sperm count, decreases follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone in infertile males. Myoinositol can help lower LDL cholesterol, C-reactive protein, and blood glucose levels while increasing HDL cholesterol. Inositol reduces inflammation. Phosphatidyl inositol reduces pro-inflammatory cytokines. And d chiro inositol decreases the mRNA expression and secretion of tumor, tumor necrosis factor A and interleukin-6. d chiro inositol has anti-aging properties and can extend lifespan. The bottom line is inositol is a potent pseudovitamin and can be a great complement to any nootropic stack. Inositol makes it easy to fall asleep. Unlike other sleep-inducing nootropics or sleeping meds, it doesn't knock you out. Falling asleep is just effortless. Inositol increases serotonin and dopamine receptor density, so damage that you may have done to dopamine receptors are repaired, particularly an issue with ADHD stimulant meds. And serotonin is simply more effective. Anxiety decreases, motivation goes up, and depression goes away. Inositol is great for social occasions because anxiety levels decrease. In fact, inositol outperformed Prozac at reducing panic attacks and can become effective in just a few days with no side effects. Some neurohackers feel that supplementing with inositol is the best antidepressant they've ever used. The real beauty of inositol is you can safely combine it with the current antidepressant medication you currently take and your antidepressant meds may work better. Inositol is a proven remedy for treating symptoms of OCD. You should feel a noticeable reduction in negative thoughts. Some things just won't bother you as much, and they won't dom dominate your thoughts so easily. And inositol is an effective method for taming panic attacks. We've got plenty more clinical studies on inositol and vitamin B8 over on Nootropics Expert in the main transcript of this video. I've got one on inositol used to treat panic attacks. I've got another clinical study on how inositol is used for depression. And I've got another study on how inositol is used to treat OCD. So if you want to see details of these clinical studies, click on the link below this video and go to the original transcript of this video on Nootropics Expert. Recommended dosage for inositol is up to 3 grams per day, typically split into three doses of 1 gram each, one in the morning, one at noon, and your final dose before bedtime. Clinically effective dosage for depression and anxiety is up to 12 grams per day. Split your dose into three times per day, 4 grams in the morning, 4 grams at noon, and 4 grams at bedtime. The clinically effective dosage for OCD is up to 18 grams a day, split into three equal doses of 6 grams each. Now, the clinical dosages mentioned in here in this video are the ones that are used in clinical trials. 
and most people have experienced relief of symptoms within three months. Some people showed improvements within a week or sooner. But this is an important note. It may not be necessary for you to go as high as 12 or 18 grams a day. Inositol could be just as effective for you at a much smaller dose. Most neurohackers notice benefits when taking 3 to 4 grams per day or less. Inositol or vitamin B8 is non-toxic, so is considered well tolerated and safe. Higher doses like those used in clinical trials could result in flatulence, stomach upset, nausea, diarrhea, increased mood swings for bipolar and psychosis patients. If you've been diagnosed with bipolar or bipolar spectrum disorder, please consult a pharmacist or your doctor before using inositol. Studies have shown and neurohackers verify that inositol supplementation may reduce testosterone levels in libido. Most of the low T reports were by women, but I've also heard a few men reporting low T and libido from inositol as well. Inositol is available in capsules, soft gels, and in powder form. Inositol powder is the least expensive way to supplement with this nootropic. Inositol is basically a sugar, so it tastes sweet. It's not as sweet as sugar, but it does taste good on its own or mixed with your favorite beverage. Lecithin is comprised of both inositol and choline, so lecithin as a supplement will provide you with inositol. Inositol is often supplied by supplement manufacturers as inositol plus choline. The thinking behind this combined supplement is that inositol complements the effects of choline. When inositol and choline are used together, they are supposed to improve nerve function and help you metabolize cholesterol. But high doses of choline can leave you depressed and sleepy. So if you want to add inositol to your nootropic stack, I suggest you avoid the combination and go straight with inositol. So my nootropics expert recommendation for inositol or vitamin B8 is up to 3 grams a day. And that's my report on inositol. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for inositol. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll, find, or, and you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using inositol, in the comment sec use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.